Hello, everybody. Hello. Welcome back to the show. My name is Captain Explody, and we are playing Alma Crossing today. I know you guys were expecting some... You were expecting me to be playing uh, Pokemon Dominoes, but we're not playing Pokemon Dominoes today. We're playing Alma Crossing. I know it's a surprise. I'm a surprising gentleman. That's right, I said gentleman. You heard me. I am a gentleman. That, I don't know if that's true. I don't think, I don't think any court in the land would, would support that theory, but regardless. On we go, we got a present. It is dinosaur bones, we can throw it away. Don't need it. With a special operator to stay in the space station as always we work for it with our items to stir. Your dad finally noticed the exotic travel pamphlet I accidentally left on the table. Looks like it's time for a little vacation. He's convinced it was his idea. Did that really say exotic? Yes, it did. Well, that's fine. As long as it didn't say erotic. You don't want to go to the erotic beach. No, sir. Well, maybe you do. I don't know. You can do whatever you want. What am I, your caretaker? Football. I was pretty sure I was going to knock that football into the river, but I didn't. What a surprise. Mitzi, hello. I came by at exactly the right time. Well, I'm just that good. I'm like a walking compass. But I'm not like that at all, actually. I'm a person. I'm a walking person. You know, it's not like I always have interesting things to talk about. Boy, Mitzi. You gotta stand up for yourself more. She's just having a sniff of those flowers. That's neat. That's fine. Whoa. Hang on a minute now, Buster. We might be able to get ourselves un frog. That's what the French would call one frog. I looked it up. I totally, apparently you can get frogs in this game. And apparently they were like the most abundant um, animal you could find in little ponds like that. But that's not true, is it? Because, good lord, I've never found a frog, but all I ever get is crawdads. This is, this is bullshit. Look, it's just crawdads up the wazoo. And let me tell you, the last, <laughs> last time I had crawdads up the wazoo. Hospital time. I was very sick. I had a lot of problems. They're little pincers. They look little until you put them in a little space like the anus. And then, uh-oh. This is not good material for the beginning of the YouTube video. YouTuber really like, you gotta make sure the beginning of your your video is, is good. And I've just, you know, done the opposite of that and made it terrible, if I may say so. If I may say so. You know, and I'm, it's not like I can call this crawdaddy anus. You know, I'm gonna have to come up with a different, I need to say something else and then call the episode that. This is a skull. I might sell some stuff, buy some stuff, and then sell it back to these boys so that I can get the tickets. Does not sound like a really good idea. I mean, I have the money for it, but I want the raffle tickets because I want to win the raffle. All right, all right, all right. I'll take this too. Yes, this space station does interest me. I wish you could buy my real space station. That'd be really good. You know, not like a toy space station I put in my house. I'm like. I want an actual space station, kid. You know what I mean? Like... The Russians... They have something to do with the space station, don't they? At the moment. But do we trust Russian people right now? I mean, we trust the Russian people, but I wouldn't trust the Russian government. I wouldn't trust the UK government, frankly. So... Is that cool? Do we just, like, forget about it? We're just like... Yeah, going up to space. Do they even know, like, all this shit that's happening? You know? Like, if there's a Russian person up in the space station right now, are they, like, looking down with the binoculars? Going, like, oh, bit of a tussle going on in the Ukraine somehow. Maybe, Mother Russia, you might want to look into that, because, you know, it's right next door. Something's up over there. And they get like a phone call back from Mother Russia. It's like, don't worry about it. It's fine. This is my Russian accent. There's no issue there. 
Keep an eye on the aliens. Because that's why they were sent up there. To keep an eye on the aliens. Of course. You wonder why people would even go into the International Space Station anymore. Just to keep an eye on the aliens. You know? And if, if those aliens start looking uppity. They start looking like they're up to something. Zap them. We give them the old space laser. You know what I'm saying? Zaps. I mean, we have it on just like blind fear that, that no no nation has decided to just build a big ass space laser. Laser. <laughs> what are you talking about? Hey, I see some money that I left behind me at some other point, so I'm going to grab it right now. What's up? I was wondering, are you a member of the house? Oh, not this. Oh. Here's a tip on how to make it easier for yourself. Kill yourself in your room, and then once you're dead, you won't have to be able to receive the letters anymore. It's a foolproof crime. Is it a crime? I don't like how they made suicide illegal. Like, it's a crime. I mean, like, well... I mean, it's not good, but also... Nothing anybody can do about it, is there? I mean, you're dead. You're dead, right? Then if you survive, what, do you go to jail for attempted suicide? You know what I mean? Ridiculous. You keep hanging around like you want to ask me something. Um, other things? What can I do for you? No, do I look like Tom Nuke to you? Why should I have to impersonate him just to amuse you? Don't mess with my head. Boy, it is a joy talking to you, kid. Let me tell you. You are not crazy. You are so much fun to talk to. I have a great time every time I talk to you. Goodbye. Forever. And then I throw a smoke bomb down. Poof. And then I walk away. That's right. I walk away. Because I'm like casual like that. I'm like not even. I'm not even going to run away. I'm just going to walk away. Oh, oh, walking away from me are you? You put the smoke down, bomb down there did you? Walking away from me. Despicable. That's fine. I don't need you. I don't need anybody. Except this lamp. That's it. You think that'll be a frog? I want this gosh dang frog. Be a frog! No, that doesn't look like a frog. It's a loach! That ain't no frog. How am I supposed to complete my my frog decks without a frog? I need it. I need a frog. Could this be? Could it be? It uh, is a Crucian carp. It is not a frog if you're keeping score. Zero frogs so far. Unhappy. I don't know, man. Hang on, let me just really quick have a look at, at my fish. Ah, I'm like under halfway there, I think. Um, bugs, we got a lot of work to do with bugs. I don't know if I'm going to beat the bugs. Beat the bugs. It's my new TV show. Beat the bugs. Hit him with a hammer. That's the entire theme chain. Some people said it was cruel to animals. I agree. It's a horrible show. I shouldn't have come up with it. Some people thought Beat the Bugs was going to be about like, you know, like, um, like being better at bugs and some things, aka beating them. No, no. You get a hammer and like a plate full of bugs. You smash them. Beat them up. That's the gig. It's not, I'll admit, it's not good. All right. But it'll get viewers. Now you talk to the the television executives. What do they want more? Good or viewers? Think about it. Some people don't even want they don't want either. They're like, I want a shitty show that nobody watches. Seventeen seasons, please. Thank you. Who am I talking to? Whoever it is I'm talking to, please. Seventeen seasons. Alright. Very important. Maybe that's a frog up there. Maybe, maybe. What if that was a show? I mean, there was a show about like duck catching, wasn't there? Like Duck Dynasty. And what's the show? 
people just like, we got our ducks. And then we sell the ducks. What do we think of that? And then everybody's like, wow, this is great. 17 seasons, please. But like, they're like, oh, it's the characters you meet along the way. It's these crazy characters. They're crazy. That's what's fun about the Duck Dynasty show. It's not the fact that they catch and kill ducks. That's not interesting. But the characters themselves, they're great crack. They're lovely, wonderful people. You see? Do you understand now? 17 seasons. I'm like, right, but... No. <laughs> no, thank you. But some people watched it. Why did they watch it? What are they watching? You know what I mean? I didn't watch it. Am I missing out because I didn't watch Duck Dynasty? Did I miss out on all the plot points and the, and the hilarious humor? That comes from Duck Dynasty? You would be surprised. Just how much humor comes from shooting a duck in the, in the eye. It's a lot. Let me tell you. If you don't believe me, check out uh, Season 4, Episode 19 of Duck Dynasty. It's great. It's really great. If I keep saying it's great, you'll believe that it's great. You know what I mean? I'm like... At some point, is there like a cutoff for TV shows? So we just like, just everything? We'll just put everything on TV? Well, it's tough, isn't it? Cause like, I have this show. This is show is just me talking shit and playing Animal Crossing. Hello. Why are you still here? I wonder, has anything changed? It's, I've, it's been a day. It's clearly a different day. Maybe he just stays for 24 hours. That's awesome. Let's go see if he's got nothing different. I suspect that he doesn't. But we'll have a look. In a bookcase. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the same old crap. Well, they call it like a meal cubby or whatever. But it's a bookcase. I would put my books in it. So, yeah, dude. People watch the show, but... Duck hunting with all those crazy characters, you, you know, that's probably more interesting than this show, which is just me playing Alma Crossing with one voice, my own scratchy voice, maybe two voices if you kind Tom Nuke. Tom Nuke probably two voice. Hello, I'm Tom Nuke. So that's two voices. But other than that, it's a sick. Where's the Crawdaddy show? Where's the show where somebody's like, a Crawdaddy? I put my net into the water, I pull it up, Crawdaddy. I call it Crawdaddy Catch Dahlia. Pressed the wrong button, I went to the catalog instead of Sal. I said, the word is pretty thighs, there's nothing to do for you? Yes, buy all my Crawdaddies. Take them. I don't think we're gonna do very well with the, the, the catching of the fish. It doesn't look like. Which is disappointing. Why? What did Gull Gulliver give us? He gave us a Chinese lion. Do I have one of those already? I have a bear. I have a wooden bear. Or do I have a lion? Well, let's go find out. I'd like to find that out. I always wonder, man. If there are people watching this show, because at present, 140 episodes in, there are not. But I would really like to know, like, why... Because I kind of do this for fun. I wanted to see if I could put up 360 videos um, I, I, uh, in one year, you know. And then the other videos are more serious. Well, not more serious, but... You know. Um... This is just a goofy show I can play and talk shit on. Do I have that already? I don't think so. I like it though. And I try to make it fun. I don't know if I do make it fun. Oh, there! I do have it! Wow. <laughs> made a very strange noise right there. No! <laughs> can I put him like in here? No, maybe not. Okay. So we don't need a Chinese lion. Good to know. Good to know. 
I'll put you right there. Uh, so yeah, dude, if you if you do watch the show, and you like it. Let me know, and I'll say thank for you. If you don't, if you watch the show, and you don't like it. Let me know as well, because then that way I can I can have stuff I can do for my. And then YouTube goes, wow, lots of comments. I think that's a weird thing too, where like people want comments on the YouTube page. But it doesn't matter if they're good or not, they just want the comments, right? So they're like, hey, go in the comments and call me a big stupid piece of shit. And all the comments too. And then the guy at YouTube's like, wow, people love your videos. Better promote them. Because YouTube's broken like that. You know? Anyway. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching. I really appreciate it. Um, you know, I'm just one man trying to change the world one day at a time. I'm not doing a very good job at it, but still. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you guys tomorrow for more Animal Crossing fun. And it will be fun. So goodbye and take it easy. And don't eat too much soup. It'll make your tummy hurt. You don't want a sore tummy. <laughs>